happened to get in the mail the January, I just remember this very, it was such a distinct moment, the January 2006 issue of Sierra Magazine, and in that magazine they had this really beautiful photo essay by Sebastio Salgado of the Galapagos Islands, mm -hmm. and um, you know, just sort of my own knowledge of sort of the loss of habitat that was starting to happen around the world because of the climate change. Um, and it was this just gorgeous black and white photographs. It also had retreating glacier photos. So it had these photos from 50 years ago and then now of like six glaciers that were retreating. And had the printed copies of the EPA documents that the Bush mm. administration had rewritten. And you could see they black lined and put in this really fuzzy language about climate change um, that was just sort of denying climate change. And looking at these beautiful landscapes that were changing and seeing the visual change and then reading this like denial, mm -hmm. this like very in your face denial of what was happening and this refusal to accept the future that we were creating for us, I just got mad. I <laughs> got really, really mad. Um, and so I spent some time thinking about, you know, what do I change my lifestyle? Do I go become a politician? Do I lobby? Do I, you know, make a lot of money and fund these organizations? Or I go, you know, what do I do? Um, and I sort of realized what I'm really good at is making art. <laughs> you know, that's the thing I know. It's what I do. I've been doing it for years. Um, so okay, okay, it's time to stop being fuzzy about artwork and creating artwork that's sort of emotional kind of artwork which has a great value in place um, but I wanted to do something that was very specific issue based work like I'm like I need to do a work about climate change um, so I started reading these really heavy scientific documents and sort of learning the language and figuring out and sketching ideas in my notebook about you know my talking you know my doing gallery based work that's about oil or waste or you know am I doing that or am I going to try and do something in public and uh, you know just over time it formulated and became the Highway Ireland project it became this idea of like putting work in public that was understanding locally what the impacts of climate change were through doing construction of these sorts. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so and it's sort of so it was a very striking turning point for me um, with my artistic practice. And the High Waterline was actually the first project that I did that was this public, um, you know, climate change based project. And then the other projects were after that. 